Hello friends, myself Chirag. Today I am going to discuss with you instruction format uh, with reference to address. Topic of computer organization and architecture. Instruction for, uh, contains some specific field. First one is opcode. Opcode means operation code. Which kind of operation you have to perform on data. Source and destination operand. Source operand means uh, before perform operation, data will be stored in uh, one operand or two operand or three operand. So that operand is called source operand. After uh, completion or, or execution of operation, uh, result will be stored in some operand. It is called destination operand. Source operand address. Where operand will be stored inside the memory, it is called source operand address. Or destination operand address means where the result will be stored in operand and operand will be stored in um, some location in the memory, uh, it is called destination operand address. Next instruction address. When one instruction execution is going on, after which instruction will come? It is based on next instruction address or where it comes from, from the memory address. Computers may have instruction of several different length containing varying number of addresses. Uh, according to address reference, there are mainly four types of instruction. Three address instruction, two address instruction, one address and zero address. Now see in detail one by one. Let's see first three address instruction. Syntax of three address instruction is uh, first of all, you have to write operation, which kind of operation you have to perform. So this is opcode, then destination, then source 1 and source 2. Uh, there are three different addresses. Why? Because it is three address instruction. Destination, source 1 and source 2. For example, addition of A, B, C. A is the destination, B and C is the source. Data stored in B and C, uh, where A, B, C are the operands. This uh, variable name are assigned to distinct location in the memory. In above example, operand B and C are called source operand. So if you have to perform any kind of addition, uh, there are two numbers which is stored in B and C. An answer of the B and C is stored inside the A. So A is called destination address. And add is the operation to perform on the operands. Bit required in three memory address of the three operands. There are three operands in this instruction. So if n bits uh, n bit are required to specify one memory address, so as per three memory address, there are three n bits are required to specify three memory address, and some memory uh, required uh, some bits of memory required for the operation code. Now example, uh, this is one equation is given. You have to write the program uh, using three address instruction. Now solution: add r1 a b. So this is the comment part you can see over here. Uh, before writing comment, you must have to use semicolon. So this is the destination. So this is R1 A and B. So this is the memory address M of A plus M of B. It is stored in the R1. Next, add R2 C D. So memory location of C and memory location of D. Addition of both the memory location and stored in R2. Multiplication Y R1 R2. So R1 and R2 which are stored in the register for the addition of AB and CD. So multiplication of both the register and uh, final answer uh, multiplication uh, final answer will be stored in memory location at Y. Y is the variable. So this is uh, destination uh, variable. Now see over here. So A plus B into C plus D is equal to Y. Second one two address instruction. Syntax of two address instruction is operation, destination and source. In three address there are two different sources available. For example, add A comma B. So one is destination, one is source. How it works? Now check where A and B are the operands. These variable names are assigned to distinct location in the memory. In above example, operand B are called source operands. So this is B and B has some value. So it is called source operand. And operand A is served as both source and destination operand. So we can see over here, uh, whenever you uh, perform addition at that time, value uh, of A and value of B, both are add, add and answer of this addition is stored in A. So previous value of the A will be uh, replaced by uh, addition of this two numbers or two source addresses. Add is the operation to be performed on the operand. Bits required two memory address of the two operands. So we can say if n bits required for specify one memory address, so there are two n bits are required to specify memory address. Example, uh, same example as uh, three address instruction. You have to write using two address instruction. Now check. Move R1 comma A. So data comes from the memory location stored in register 1. Add R1 comma B. So 
R1 have already data and M of B is stored inside the uh, R1. So addition over here A plus B will be performed or one first part is completed. Next move R2 comma C. So memory location C uh, operand will be stored into R2 move into R2. So add R2 comma D. So R2 have already value of C. So R2 plus M of D. So it's performed C plus D and the answer will be stored in R2. Now multiplication. Uh, a plus B value stored in R1 and uh, C plus D value stored in R2. So R1 into R2 and stored in R1. Here in each instruction have only two address. Now see 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. It is means one is destination, one is source. And final answer is stored into the Y. So a move Y comma R1. R1 is the source and destination is Y. One address instruction. Syntax of uh, sorry, this is one address, not a two address instruction. One address instruction is operand source one. So we can say there is no destination or there is no source. Now check for example, add a. So what about another value? Uh, this is one variable. What about another value? Now check this instruction add the content of variable a into the processor register called accumulator and stores the sum back, uh, back into the accumulator destroying the previous content of the accumulator so for example we can say a is one kind of memory location and accumulator have some value uh, accumulator is one kind of processor register so value of uh, uh, variable a and accumulator will be uh, sum uh, will be add and sum will be stored in the accumulator and destroying the previous content of the accumulator and re uh, replaced by addition or we can say replaced by sum in this instruction the second operation operand is assumed implicitly in a unique location accumulator example of one address instruction is like load a copy the content of memory location a into accumulator or store b copies the content of accumulator into memory location b uh, example of uh, one address instruction same example a plus b into c plus d using one address instruction uh, you have to must you must have to use only one instruction with this so load a so data of the a uh, load into accumulator add b so it is perform a plus b accumulator plus memory location of b so it perform a plus b now store t so final answer will be stored inside the t because we have to accumulator uh, further load c again c content of c will be stored in accumulator now add d so it performs c plus d accumulator plus memory location of d and the final answer stored in accumulator multiplication of t uh, with accumulator because accumulator have c plus d and t has a plus b and we uh, our answer is a plus b into c plus d so it performs a plus b into c plus d and final answer it move move y so accumulator data will be stored in memory location y also you can say it is store uh, store instruction last one zero address instruction in this instruction the location of all operands are defined implicitly so we can say there is no operands are available or no source or destination address are available so those all are implicitly such instruction are found in machine that stores operand in a structure called a push down stack so we can say uh, in which system uh, in any of the system in which uh, work with stack organization that work with zero address instruction though all the functionalities like push pop and top of stack uh, is included in this instruction execution in zero address instruction now comparison some of the comparison here the instruction with only one address will require less number of bits to represent it and instruction with three address will require more number of bits to represent it Another comparison, three address instruction requires more memory access, more time required to execute and one address requires less memory access and it requires less time to execute. Now example uh, of zero address instruction. So same example uh, like one, two and three address instruction. How it solved? First of all, uh, push A. So value of A will be uh, uh, insert into the stack so top of the stack is equal to m of a now push b same as m of b is the top of stack now addition perform addition because uh, a, uh, we have to perform a plus b so operation will become over here uh, it means a plus b addition uh, or we can say final answer will be top of the stack again push c push d and then again addition so top of the stack is equal to c plus d now multiplication so c plus d into a plus b 
and final pop y so finally top of stack we can say the multiplication of a plus b into c plus d will be stored in y location uh, in this uh, uh, program you can see over here push a so some of our think that uh, uh, some person think that there is one uh, address or we can say there is source or destination will be passed over here but push is the not instruction it is the uh, function of stack and add is the instruction so you can see over here there is no operand will be passed over here uh, there are some ex uh, uh, examples over here you can solve your own way this is exercise one this is exercise two solved by yourself thank you for watching this video please like share and comment subscribe my channel on youtube chirag balodia press bell icon to get new video notification thank you